I know, I'm sorry if it's all. So yeah, I'm sure you're really sorry. You make decisions. I don't want to hear your bullshit. What are you talking about, dude? Hey guys, today we're talking The Trust, a game agreed. It's a new reality show on Netflix. Yes, this one is interesting. Definitely a social experiment for sure. Kind of like surviving the raft, but like they're, they're not on a boat. Instead, they're in a mansion. Where, where are they at? That's a good question. <laughs> and as you've noticed, we're missing Billy today, and he would be the one to answer that question. So I'm going to pass. It's somewhere nice because the water's beautiful. <laughs> nice they house. Somebody mentions there's no beach. I'm like, uh, I don't. Mm. I, I, there's a cliff, but there's no beach. Well, the pad, the deck is like right on the water. It's it's amazing yeah. like when they're eating. And I notice some of the stairs don't have any railings, so it's treacherous. I'm Even waiting in for the house. The upstairs. Well, that's like, what I'm talking about. I'm waiting yeah. for Mama Jay to just go tumbling down the <laughs> stairs. So. Yeah, even like the deck outside or the balconies outside, like the the railing, it's not really a railing or whatever it is. It's very low. There's no railings. Yeah. It's dangerous. Yeah. Uh, but this show, there's 11 contestants, pretty diverse cast here. Yeah. And it's weird that they start with 11, but. Yeah, it's an, it's an odd thing. I, I can't. Literally. <laughs> it, it really bothers me. I'm sorry. It should be even. But. Yeah. Um, And now they're. Not really competing against each other. It depends. They can compete against each other. They could be on the same team. Look, the way this is explained is they're all winners. They've won already. They all get money Ain't right nobody now. Nobody won nothing yet. They all get money right now. What was it? Like 22? It's $250,000 split among all of them. If I did the math, it's like 22000 Yes, $22,727, which isn't a whole lot. Two hundred, A quarter of a million grand prize split. It's not. But they all have money and they could all walk away with that and everyone's happy and they could just spend the next however long they're there living it up and then walk away with twenty two thousand dollars. Very similar to surviving the raft and they all split the money in the end. They, they didn't really kick too many people off. They, yeah. They they eliminate some troublemakers, but in the end, they could have voted people off. They all decided to to stick together and get not much money. So I guess the question remains, can they come together for the common good? And everybody walk away with money. I it's, think we all know the answer to this now question. The, the, the thing I like about this show more than that show is like every they're presented with an offer and they get to choose between one or two. And normally they're both not great. And that, yeah. that puts them in an awkward situation, which I like. Surviving the Raft didn't do that. This one does. Yeah. So it makes it more interesting. I did like that. What do you think of this cast now? I do think, I mean, they all they all said it in their little interviews when they first lined up and looked at each other. It's a very diverse cast um, coming from different walks of life and all that. So I like it. Um, yeah, I like everybody on the cast. I mean, there's one person that I think really bothered me. Now, they got like but... people as young as 22, Bryce, and as old as 70 with Jay, you yeah. know, various ethnicities and all that kind of stuff. Who, yeah. who are you liking so far, though? Or initially, I guess I should say. I, I, you put me on the spot here. I, I, I can't pick. I can't pick. So my, my opinions of people did change as I like sure. got to know them and yeah. as they played the game and everything. Um, I like Bryce. Um, I still like Bryce. I, I think Bryce isn't going to make it. But now I what's, do like what's his him. situation? He's kind of flamboyant, but he's not gay. But one might think he's gay. Yeah, something like that. I don't know. He he did talk about he does how talk about presenting as male though. So I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if he's always been male or if he just presents. As they male, don't really get does. into it, and it's he probably does better for that. That he has a girlfriend and that they've been together for years and everything. So um, he does come across like you would think he would be gay, but maybe he's not. And he's just he's just a very he's not gay. He's got a girlfriend, um, and he's presenting as a male. I guess so. Yeah, there okay. it is. There you go. But I mean, I like him. I like mm -hmm. I like his personality. I like what he brings to the table. I like I mean, I like everything about him, but I don't think he's going to last because he comes from money. Who do you not like? Uh, I'm starting to really not like Julie. Um, and I really liked Mama J at first because I loved how she just kind of said in her little interview, she was just being funny and cute and the old lady who doesn't give a crap about yeah, what I she says. I think she starts off strong. She's kind yeah. of like... Um, abrupt with what she thinks and yeah. gets it out there but then um 
Yeah, but then I don't I, know. She does some weird stuff later. Yeah, on. then she's so unpredictable and just like in her own world. So I'm starting to really not like her. Mm. So that's it. Yeah, I I felt bad for um for Jules. I guess we can talk about that. The first episode. Jules. Um, Jules. Yeah, yeah, I. Uh... I'm Same pretty off. much good with all the guys in this. There's not really a guy of course that <laughs> bothers me too much, but some of the women get on my nerves and yeah. like they they have their moments where they really irritate me, but then they tend to come around sometimes I and know. I'm okay with them. But yeah, that's women, right? But like, like they're pretty <laughs> conniving and and you know as we see all these reality shows, it's like some some minorities like to group up. Some uh, women, girl power comes yeah. in and all that stuff. But whenever it's not about the game and it's about that, that's when I really don't like it. But I understand it's a yeah. part of it. So, and, and people just have a natural tendency to, hey, you, me, same, same. So, right. you know, we're bonding And here. that's that's where I kind of have a problem. Like, I'm not, I'm not not a feminist. I kind of am a feminist. I'm just not an extremist in some way. And I do think it gives like feminism a bad name when they're sitting there. The girls literally banded together and said the girls will stick together. Like, but they left out um, Simone, Simone. But they're all like, we're a group. We're solid. We're going to stick together. We're going to vote the same. We're going to we're going to be on the same page. We have each other's back. And they keep saying the girls, the girls, the girls. And then they like bad mouth the guys. I can't look at the bros. They're hanging out the bros. And I'm like. First of all, they've never de- the bros have never declared themselves as a pack and that they're going to stay together and, you know, have each other's back in the in a sense of being a bro pack. You you know, you room with some people and it's just natural for guys. Yeah. I mean, it'd be awkward, I guess, if if they were because some of these guys are married. They're not all singles. This is not a dating show. So, right. Um, you know, the girls are rooming with girls, guys are rooming with guys. So it makes sense that you're going to grow these bonds and you're going to have some secrets and confide in people just yeah. based on that alone. But there are. Ask immediately if like any they want to get rid of anyone. And of course, like no one knows anyone. Right. So I don't really get the point of this because it'd be awkward if someone's like, that person right there, get rid of them. <laughs> I don't know what it is about like, them, but they gotta yeah, go. what are you basing that off of? So <laughs> exactly. and in this show, like you're given like vault keys to go to the vault where you get to make that decision, right? And the first two people are Joels and Simone go to the vault. Right. And they're presented two offers. Okay, so I didn't like how they handled this. Well, I didn't like how Jewels handled this. So I guess the first offer was that they get was it twenty five hundred dollars? Twenty five hundred. They each get twenty five hundred dollars personally, but then it's either they get twenty five hundred that, comes out, the, that or comes out of the pot for everybody else. Five so thousands added if two people's vote is cut. Exactly. So there's obviously one that benefits them, and then the one that benefits. The better the group, except for two people, because they got to cut their vote. Their vote don't count, so. right? But if nobody's voting, because at this point in time they're all singing "Kumbaya," saying they're not going to vote anybody out, what's the big deal if you take away the vote, right? And I like Simone. And this was random; they just choose some keys out of like uh, a case or whatever. Right. Um, I didn't like that the, the the two that they chose they chose the good, the better of the group, which I was fine with, and obviously they kind of had to at this point in time. But I didn't like how they chose the two random people to do it, too. They're like, oh, there's a list on the wall. We'll just take the top two of the list. And it's like, OK, fine. That's not very strategic, but whatever. Yeah. And I mean, Joel's Ju- like he's kind of been shady a little bit up to this point because like he's been telling lies. He says he's a stripper or something like that, when in reality, he's a police officer. He thought he would for some reason, he thought he would get more respect in the game going in as a stripper than he would as a cop. And he's like, yeah, no one trusts cops. <laughs> like, yeah. We totally trust strippers. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I guess there, there is a stigma with the cops. And I guess he chose stripper because it'd make for an interesting conversation. But he came across, he's come, you know, he doesn't have his shirt. An F button. boy. He came across as an F boy and people don't trust F Only boys. Only his bot- bottom button is yeah. button. So, so, you know, he's a pretty fit guy. So, and he's very flirtatious. He, now, he did say he was also a personal trainer. He should have just stuck with that. Well, that was kind of smart, I yeah. think, to add that bit. But I, I just think it was unnecessary. He could just said, I do security. You know what I mean? You don't have to say police. officer. Yeah, just say security. True. And you're like, I don't know, guard stuff. It's Mall in the cop. same vein. And that way, if they <laughs> question you, you can come up with some rational stuff. Be a bouncer. Stuff. You can be anything. I don't know. 
But so yeah, it, he came. It just it went. It didn't sit well with the rest of the group. They didn't trust him, and so yeah. And I guess they we were jumped, looking for any reason to get rid of. I him. guess we jumped ahead because they there was like this little thing where they did the box of secrets. And, oh yeah, and they had to like. Each person before coming on, I guess, revealed the secret, and then they had to guess who said what. I regularly lie about my occupation. And they guessed Simone because she said she's unemployed. And, like, how are you affording things if that's the case? Yeah, she's a single mom raising kids, unemployed. But uh, they got it wrong, allegedly. You don't have to. See, here's the thing. If they accuse you, you don't have to tell the truth there yeah. either. So I mean, as viewers, we know. That it was Joel's. I believe money is a poison. Ooh, Jeez. that could be a lot of people. And this yeah. is Brian, and they got that one right. And that one yeah. seems pretty obvious because the guy's like a farmer. He's very open. And I was surprised that he owned up to that. I was, and I'm surprised it didn't backfire on him because here you are, like saying money is a poison. So that's normally a bad thing to say when you're on a competition show. A competition show that is for money. Cause like we've seen it when we watch Squid Game, right? It's like, oh, I'm not here for the money. It's like, all right, well you can get out then. After being cheated on, I slept with over 150 people as retaliation. She 150. Yeah, did we ever find out who that was? I don't think we did. Uh, I don't think we did either. Because they uh, they said it was Jewel's, and, and supposedly wasn't. they were wrong. So, but although, yeah, because he's 150 he people. How do how do you even do that? And like, that's a ton. I hope <laughs> there's protection. Many. I mean, maybe, maybe maybe there were a couple nights where there was a group. Someone over there says, <laughs> I cheated on an ex-spouse with my current spouse. And they said Jay, the older woman, but like, and that was wrong. And we learned that. And this was smart because Lindsay at the end says, hey, that was me. And then she kind of explains the situation. I think yeah. that was smart. That way, like you dodge like people coming after you. Right. And then she has a rational re reason why she did it, I guess, if there is one. It, she rational. <laughs> <laughs> I go to parties where women are weighed on a scale outside before they are allowed in. Oh, I remember what Julie's was. And they all thought that was Joelle's as well. Like, because they were, they really just, like, did not like him and thought he was very superficial, I guess. Yeah. Well, so, he acted superficial yeah. initially, which, which I think was his downfall because yeah. I think he actually was, like, a decent I guy. I think he was, too. And then... He he pretended to be like this kind of like yeah. playboy when he didn't have to. Yeah. At 21 years old, I became a millionaire. Yeah. And see this one, I felt really bad because we learn it's Bryce. We don't learn it in this moment. Well, they, they choose him and he lies he and said lies. it's not me. Yeah. He said he was flattered that they thought he would be that. But I mean, he carries himself. He's very proper. Yeah. And he just kind of seems like he comes from money. Yeah. So <laughs> just like the, his mannerisms and the way about him. Yeah. But Compared you know, to other people, I guess. You know, if I were him, I, I would have maybe owned up to it a little bit in that moment and said, yeah, I did become a millionaire at 20, 21 or whatever, but I don't have it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but getting back to the vault decision. Um, so they choose to block Bryce and Tolu. And that's because there were there's a certificate on the wall of the trust or whatever, and those two names were the top two names on the wall. There was no strategy. It was no. just based on the order of the names on this piece of paper in the vault. And Simone makes a comment saying, I'm a little concerned about how Tolu's gonna take that. And he's like, Well, it's it's fair. You know, it's like the top two names in the list. That's that's what we're doing. Yeah. I mean, I'm okay with that. I mean, you're I on just, a game show, so maybe you need to be strategic, but it's pretty right. early on. Yeah. And, but maybe you need to think about how people are going to take it. But I don't really like that, too, because, like, fair is fair, right? Right. No one's going to take it well, right? Now, but some again, people are going to take it better than others. Right. But then again, I don't know. Could they have taken? Could they have chosen that them for themselves? Uh, I don't know. They weren't think clear on so. that. But either way, it should not matter because they've all come together and said... They're not voting anyone out. So what does it matter? And Tolu is not happy and she files an EO complaint <laughs> with the group. Yeah. So so this And, this and she tells her bit. story how like, you know, she's gone through hardship. You know, everyone's got a sob story. They always do. You yeah. know what I mean? And every nobody that's the whole thing here. Like nobody knows what these people came from, right? 
I mean, you look at Bryce and you say he looks like he comes from money, but you look at Julie and she looks like she's doing pretty well for herself and she looks like she's very beautiful. Supposedly she's, she's not though. Yeah, but she uh, came from like nothing. She was, you know, basically a foster child begging for food and all that stuff. And and you learn that later on, but you don't see that in her. You get to know her on a deeper level and figure that out. So you don't know anybody's struggles, but you know, we do learn totally struggles and you know, coming to this country and like she has felt like things have always been taken away from her and she didn't like something else being taken away from her. And it's like, well, no one's going to yeah, like And that. you're on a game show. You know what I mean? This this doesn't have to be fair. It doesn't have to and be it wasn't equitable. Done. So and it was pretty fair the way they did it. Honestly, exactly. So. And it wasn't done maliciously or do like all the things that she talks about in her past that has you know, her hardships and that have been taken away from her, she felt like it was because she was different because she was from Africa. This had nothing to do with that. Yeah. With all that being said, Bryce isn't too concerned because when he goes home, he's going home to a pile full of cash like Scrooge McDuck. So. But then, what I didn't like was Simone goes, I told him you were going to be like that. I told him, I told him I didn't want to take your vote. Now, do you think like, this is smart for Tolu? Because is this like the squeaky wheel? Like if she complains hard enough, is that going to make people judge, like determine, I'm not going to pick her because I know she's going to create no. a mountain out of molehill about everything. So I'm going to choose this person because it's just safer and this person will take it and shut up. No, because I feel like they're still too new to know each other because as we learn, like watching it, she doesn't, she doesn't really make a mountain out of a molehill out of everything. And she's very, if you actually have conversations with her about whatever she has issues with. She's very reasonable in having those conversations. I think you could talk Strategy. to her, but initially I think she does react like that on everything if it's coming but to she, her way. Maybe. Yeah, but she, but she's reasonable when you have the conversation with her. Yes. And then they start voting, and you can either cast a vote to get rid of someone or not. Yeah, and, and why, why get rid of anybody? Like, well, everyone's happy, right? When you get rid of people, you get more money. And then <laughs> Tolu doesn't like being chosen here. So, and she's got all the girls on her side. So, Julie. But what's funny went, is they took it out on Joelle's. Yeah. But Simone was down there. And again, Simone at the table, when he said we, we did it the fairest way possible, we put the two, two names off the list. And Tolu spoke up and said she didn't like that. Simone said, Well, I knew Joelle's was more of the one speaking. Yeah. So if you're the one presenting everything, it seems like that was kind of your your decision. You're running the show, I guess. And you I definitely mean, seem like he, he was kind of running the show have, a little bit there. He could have spoke up and said it was a joint. See, decision. that's a smart thing to go. We both decided. Right. To, tell him. So. <laughs> <laughs> tell him. <laughs> tell him. Tell him. You were there. <laughs> but anyways, the girls, uh, Winnie, Lindsay, Tolu, Julie, they all vote him out. Yeah, he didn't stand a chance. And this was kind of a shocker to me. Yeah, it was a shock. Because I expect everyone like, hey, no shots fired. I don't want to like draw heat on me. So let me just play it safe and not vote anyone else. Okay. And, and the votes aren't known. They don't tell you how many and who voted for what after this. So you just know and this person's going home. It's majority, not majority of, of, you know, they need the majority of the group to vote. It's the majority of the votes cast. So if only one person votes, whoever they voted for goes. Yeah. So it can be pretty easy to get rid of someone. Yeah. So at any time, almost anyone could be going home. As we find out later, we think it could be easy to save somebody. But we could be wrong on that, too. <laughs> so the next episode begins. Everyone's telling their sob stories again. Like, it seems like you have to have a sob story to get on the show to begin with. Yeah. And Lindsay has her sob story. She's confiding to Jake. And everyone else is telling, you know, their stories. Yeah. Simone is saying, yeah, I was divorced. It hurt. All this stuff. Same with Lindsay. And and everyone's kind of telling Jake and he's supposedly a pretty good listener. Yeah. I mean, Jake wasn't. I, I want to tell Jake my story. Like, I mean, <laughs> he, he's a really good listener. He sat there and he took it all in and he was empathetic with their stories. And and I don't I really don't think that was an act. I think he was genuine. Yeah. I think he's, he's really, trying to connect with people. He's literally trying to get to know these people and connect. I think he's one that wants to keep the group together. And Jake is is the fit guy, the Marine, mm -hmm. and uh, he's 
he's in his like I think late thirties, but uh, but yeah, he's the good looking one on the show. So all the ladies, I guess, are supposed to be <laughs> fawning over this guy, and Julie certainly is. Yeah, well, of course, yeah. So, and everyone's in love with Jake right now until yeah. the next test comes Ooh, up. The next test. So the test is like rank people like most to least. And they allow people like, just rank yourselves. Mm -hmm. Who's the smartest one here? Who's yeah. the least smartest? And <laughs> Jake's like, I'm a pretty smart dude. I'm going to go to the front of the line on this I one. he's already there. <laughs> I think he was already standing there, so he's like, yeah, I'm not dumb, so I'll just stay right here. And what's here. funny about this, the person with the biggest issue of this is Julie, and those two have a pretty strong bond, and they're, like, arguing back and forth, like, who's smarter here? And then Bryce and some other they people, they both have the teacher degrees, guy, you know, and, is yeah. Gaspers, like, whatever, you know, I don't really even care. Yeah. Because, like, here's where I think Jake screwed up. He's so worried about, like, who the actual smartest may be. Yeah, and, and he forgot he's playing a game. Right, he's <laughs> like, no. he's playing a game. He's like, I'm not gonna put myself down because like, I, I actually think I'm smarter is than it, you. So, is it the smartest decision to identify yourself as the smartest person? Obviously, he's not the smartest person. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the more but smarter also, people probably realize they were. Hey, I'm down pretty the smart, <laughs> but why should I identify myself exactly. as the smartest person here? I mean, I don't understand why. Julie was trying so hard. She's like, well, I have a master's degree and blah, blah, blah. You really think you're smarter than me? You really Like, she was being so combative about it. And then, matter of fact, Jay's, like, watching these two argue, and she's like, that is so disrespectful for the way he is treating her in this. Yeah. Thing. So, and that's kind of comical what happens later I on. Th I think it's hilarious. Like, when she, I'm glad you brought that up, because when she said that's so disrespectful the I way didn't he's really feel her. like it was disrespectful. I thought it was 50-50 with what right. those two like, were doing. What is it? What's disrespectful about it? Like, if he really thought he was smarter. He didn't say you're dumb. Right. Like, I, I don't understand. Like, if he's confident that he's smarter than her and she's confident, like, is it disrespectful for her to challenge his smartness? Or is it just because she's a woman that he's challenging? And they maybe could ask someone else, like, what do you think? Who's smarter? But guess what? The other people are smart enough to go, who the hell cares? Right. We good with this? Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> it is what it is. Right. They're also like... <laughs> Clean in it. Like when they see conflict, they're like, hey, look at that conflict. That's great. Now, like, I will say, other than Jake, the guys are pretty chill in this. A lot of the women are getting spun up on this. Like, yeah. Lindsay's getting spun up. Jay's getting spun up. Yeah. And and they're all starting to zero in on Jake. Because well, the next thing they do is say, who's the best leader? And what does Jake do? No, 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 no. Before the leader was loyal. Who was the most I loyal? I think it's, no, it's, it's, it's not. It was like, Smartest and then leader. And Jake's like, I'm a military officer. Right, I have more leadership right. training than probably all these people combined. So I'm going to walk myself up to the front like line again. That's literally his job. <laughs> the, uh, yeah. And I get like, you could be maybe the best. I would probably say he is just, you know, I, I serve the military. Uh, a military officer can be in charge of like two, 300 people and, and their life could be dependent on. So, but you, why would you want to be in that position? I don't know. Nothing good comes from that. And some people, I think, realize that, like, nothing good going to come from this. Like, she's not just taking a random poll of who's the smartest <laughs> and, and the why best leader. Why asking these questions? It's interesting. Jake put himself first in line. I'm like, who does that? Seriously. Every time. So Jake goes up and they're like, well, Jake, you seem to nominate yourself for everything. So now I want you to rank, rank them yourself yeah. by loyalty. That's what it was. And this is where Lindsay gets upset, which I think is a little hypocritical because, first of all, they've known each other now for what, maybe two days, right? So it was just this morning or that morning that she had the conversation with him about how her her relationship is with her spouse and everything. And we learned the night before her secret that her current marriage is a result of an affair that she had on her last marriage. So... She cheated on her. Yeah, spouse. you're not very loyal to your spouse, so, so you're probably like, not the most I mean, loyal if person. If you're going to rank these strangers, there's what nine other strangers here that you're ranking, like, and you know this person has cheated, and like, why you cheated would you not, probably on the most important person supposedly in your life? Why would you not put her at the like? And he didn't defend himself on that. Yeah. When she and loyalty him, is like, a very broad word. Like, it could yeah. mean a lot of things to different people. I don't know what the point of all this was, except. Get people riled up, people. and it definitely did that. It did. <laughs> but Jake also gets to determine the next two people to go to the vault. Now, this is where he really screwed up. 
Yeah, and like he he chooses Bryce because like, hey Bryce, you got your vote taken away, and wait, and Tulu doesn't say anything, but in her mind she's like, wait a minute, that happened to me too, right? And he's not saying anything here, no. and yeah, that is kind of messed up. I don't know if that's that big of a deal. Well, I mean, if you're gonna use it as your reason to send Bryce, then you got to send Bryce and Tulu. Like you got to send them both, right? Mm, yeah, hey, I guess this is my I decision. Mean, that's your reasoning, but yeah, he's put on the spot. They're both on the upper half of the loyal scale that he made. <laughs> I mean, I think too. I don't know why not choose. It's smart two. to bring this up because it's a good Absol- question, absolutely. but I just don't know if it's worth getting all crazy bent out of shape. It's normally not even great to go to the vault because it brings additional heat to you. So True. I don't even. There's definitely some people that are like don't choose me. Yeah. Like Gasper, he he never wants to go to the vault. Bryce typically doesn't want to go to the vault either, but. But but these are also what people people assume these are trustworthy people. So I'm going to send them to the vault. Right. But they can go to the vault and they receive two offers. This time, instead of 2500 it's $5,000. Yeah. So, and they both have to choose the same person to yeah. vote out. So they're like, Ooh, I don't like that one. What's the second right. offer? And the second offer is uh, they have to protect someone and 10 k is removed. What did you think about those options? I liked I liked the options. I I love this, you know, the offer here as the beneficial one to the people in the vault and then the beneficial to the group in a way. And I really like that. What I, I didn't like how they chose, they obviously chose good better the group and they saved one person. Mm-hmm. And they thought debated like choosing Jake cuz they're like Jake chose us, so maybe we owe him, but, like, people weren't happy with the way that played out, and if we choose him, and if people are going to vote him, then maybe that'll come back at us. But they weren't too privy. I mean, they could kind of see the tension in the group when the, when the choosing was happening, the lining up, but they weren't privy to all the conversations that were happening after the fact where people were really gunning <laughs> for Jake, so... I mean, they thought, okay, maybe people would come after Jake, but like, had they known that all that conversation, would that have changed their mind? Because people were definitely coming after Jake. Yeah, ev- then, everyone's talking about Jake. After yeah. This, so. so I was sitting there. I was on the fence because it seemed like they were on the fence between Tolu and Jake. And I was like, ooh, I could see an argument for both here. Like, and again, it shouldn't be that big of a deal, right? Because no one should be going home. Just all agree not to vote and it'll be great. But. And I thought they were going to choose Tolu. I thought they were too. But they choose. Surely. <laughs> Why? Because she's the third on the list. <laughs> <laughs> this list, this is Jules doing, right? He sees the list. We're just going to go down the list. Yeah, I thought that was really odd on this one. But like, hey, <laughs> they got a pattern going on here. Why break it? You know what I mean? Yeah. So. And now this is where uh, Tolu's getting all bent out of shape. And she's she's mad at Jake. And, and she says, like, this guy's constantly identifying me with Africa. I never said that. I just want to be like a, a treated like a regular person. I don't want this association he see, he really with Africa. Me. Yeah, he doesn't see me as a person. He just sees me as this African queen. But here's something. If you don't want to be associated with Africa, maybe you shouldn't wear earrings that say Africa and the shape Africa along with necklaces, necklaces everything and she dresses she, and here's the thing and that's fine yeah that's there's nothing wrong with it but in the very first episode in an interview like the little diary room like interviews she says Africa is my being African is my identity to my core. It's everything about me. She literally says that herself. And that's fine. And now I know why you're wearing that stuff, but you don't think people are going to connect those two things exactly. to Exactly. Like if I go to work, you know, I'm a, I'm a former Marine myself. If I wear a Marine lanyard or a shirt, I got the haircut, people are going to like Josh Marine. Yeah. And that's what they associate me with. Yeah. And I'm putting it out there, so I can't really fault anyone but myself. If I don't want to be associated, I should change something about it. I that. wear Taylor Swift shirts and Cincinnati Bengals shirts to work, and I'm always known as either the Swift girl or the Bengals girl. That's it. So that's what they know me as. So I just I, I found it just a little odd. Like yeah, and I, and obviously Jake has no ill intentions as far as that. And I like the how he handled that, and I like how she. I like well, he how got lucky both, because I like he's got Julie. Handled. Yeah, but I like how they both handled that conversation. When she told him about it, he was like, I didn't realize that me saying those things was They did have an awesome conversation and hashed it out, but that's only because Julie tipped Jake off about it. She's like, you better go go smooth that (laughs) over. 
So he has her to thank big time. Yeah. And like, and that happened because Tolu's like, I'm not sure about your and Jake's relationship. Yeah. And then she's like, well, I'm not sure about your and Winnie's kind of relationship. So things are kind of brewing there. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely going to become an issue. I mean, you know, the girls are trying to band together as a group, but you definitely have Winnie and Tolu who are closer. And I don't know that Julie and Jake are closer than Julie is with the other girls. Again, you don't need one person to be loyal to. You could be loyal to all the girls and to Jake in because you don't have to vote anyone off. This isn't something where it's like, okay, when it comes down to it, and we're getting down to it. Is it going to be me or him? It doesn't have to Some be. Some people are stirring the pot, though. Oh. You know what I find kind of interesting about Julie and Jake is like Julie is talking to the camera early. And I was like, I'm going to manipulate the crap out of yeah. this guy, and I'm going to get close to him, and I'm going to win him over, and then he'll be my little puppet. But when Jake's in trouble, she goes yeah. way out of her way to protect him. So, and she's, I also she's think a little I d- off about that kind I of stuff. I do think like, that he's he's digging her. I do think he likes her. Sure. And- I mean. They're, you know, they're two good looking people and he wants to keep her around. But I don't think Very she has him wrapped around her finger like like she thinks she does. <laughs> well, and Lindsay goes like full Karen at this point. Like she's talking to Gasper in I think the uh, restroom or whatever. And then mm-hmm. and then uh, Jake just walks in and she's like and she at first she's like, hey, but then she's like. Nah, you know what? I'm not going to put on a fake face. I'm just yeah. going to tell this dude straight up what I my issue my is. I put my heart out to you, and then you put me at the back of the line. And again, it, it makes sense that he did it, but it, it, I could see where it would hurt if he if he then responded, well, well you did cheat on your husband, because then he's using her story against her. So I'm glad that he didn't like, say that, who, but... Who cares where she is on this thing, though? But she does, apparently. Yeah, she does care. <laughs> I mean, so he's like, well, great. Now I got to do damage control here. Yeah. He like it's starting to mount damage control mode with like every. He's like, all right, next in line. Who else did I piss off? <laughs> yeah. And then Jay is really pissed off just because the way he talked to Jules, even though they're tight. Yeah. During that event, too. And she's like, I don't like Misogyny. that. And uh, yeah, that's what she says. <laughs> spells it. And she's like, this guy's on my crap list. And she's not afraid to like kind of like say it out loud. Yeah. And then she's like, all the women. And then Simone kind of speaks something like, before you say all that, you don't really speak for me. I don't really have an issue with Jake. I just want that to be known. Yeah. And that's all she says. Well. And then Jay's like, excuse me, when I'm speaking on behalf of the women, that's like all women. So how dare you? I am the leader of the women. I am older than all of you. I am wiser. And this guy's bad. And I'm telling you he's bad. You should believe me. (laughs) Yeah. So that was like a miscalculation of Simone, probably. (laughs) Now, this is uh, where like Bryce admits to Lindsay that he's the millionaire. And, and yeah. you know, Bryce at one point says, like, I don't tell people that. Only my mom knows. Some of my friends don't. But he seems to want to tell everyone in this he damn house. He want to tell everybody. Well, he's been hiding who he is. You and know? why would you tell that to Lindsay? Everyone's telling I, a lot to Lindsay. And she's, like, banking everything. When he tells Lindsay, I think to myself, I'm like, that is the wrong person to tell. Like, she's going to use that against him. But she keeps it a secret. She doesn't tell anybody. I mean, she I, she's got a bank for her own thing, I think. But she doesn't call him out on it in front of other people. So like it wasn't She's playing bad. cool with Bryce. Yeah. For now. So, and I think she genuinely likes Bryce. But you're giving someone ammunition. Like if they yeah. if they have heat on them, they're gonna be like, I know how to get rid of that. I know. Well it was here's secret. the deal. You got Tolu and like Winnie and then even Julie. Like they they're all talking about how you know proud they are to be their authentic selves. And he he's not being his authentic self. He's hiding who he is. And it's bothering him. You know, he apparently can't wear his sunglasses. Yeah. Like and, and I mean, see, here's brand. the thing. Like, <laughs> you're <laughs> like, I can't wear my Armani shoes. Yeah, oh, yeah. you poor thing. You can't wear your Armani shoes. You yeah. can't wear your, your Cartier I watch. It. I guess he is wearing his, his fancy watch, but like, I get it. Uh, I don't know. You're not going to win many people over that. Cause people can't relate to that. He even comes off pretty pompous when he's saying this kind of he stuff. Do- he does. He does. But I get it. I get Read it. the room, man. Like, come on. That's the thing, right? Read the room. But uh, the girls have a powwow, and they're like, we're not going to vote because, like, Jake smooths it over with Tolu, so they're like, you know what? Life's good. We're not going to vote. And, and everyone's like, yeah, we're not going to vote. But then Jay's like, I'm going to vote. 
I'll tell you that right now. I'm not Speak even going to tell yourself. you who it is, but I'm voting. Yeah. And then you could see Julie's face like, oh, no. Yeah, because we, like we know doesn't? she has a beef with Jake. And then and she's like, and if this gets out, then this trust is broken. And that's going to be a problem, too. Yeah, I think Winnie Winnie <laughs> speaks up about that. She's like, all right. So everyone said their piece. She doesn't need to say who she's voting for. But we do know if it gets out that she's voting for somebody. Because like, Julie's like, oh, no. How do I save Jake <laughs> with the stipulation? Yeah. So, but she finds a way. She finds a way. And and honestly, the whole time when she was going to vote, I thought I thought the best smartest vote would be to vote Mama J because, you know, you know she's voting for somebody else, so vote But her. that brings heat to her in the group. She's definitely broke the trust at that point. Yes, cuz she's in the group. So this is like her way of like I'm like not really breaking the trust, I'm just like skirting it. Exactly. But you know, they're all at the table and they're like, and she goes, is anyone going to vote tonight? I'm just curious. We sh- Let's get this out there. And they're then people are dumb. That. They're like, why would she say that? But, which they, they harped on that. And I'm like, OK, we know well, obviously it, we know why she said it. And she explains herself after, which makes sense. She's like, I just need to know before you vote. Like, am I do I need to come into to hero mode here? Like. Did you change your mind? Like, but this is what Tolu and Winnie are concerned about, like this Jake thing. Yeah. Well, she didn't tell Jake at that point. But again, I don't understand. Just they didn't decide as a group to vote Jake out or to vote anyone out because Mama J didn't even. Well, say matter of fact, she was no one is out. voting for Jake. So right, <laughs> and Mama J didn't say ex- specifically who she was voting for. So it wasn't decided as a group that Mama J was going to get to vote out the person that she wanted to vote out. It was just said that she is going to vote and they'll respect that. So she respected her vote and then she decided, okay, I'm going to counter vote it. Now this is a bombshell because all but two people choose not to vote. And we know Jay says she's going to vote for someone. And then uh, Julie's like, I got to counteract this. So uh, we don't know who, but like, Julie's like, I'm going to vote Simone just to bounce it out and we'll see what happens. I don't know what even happens during a tiebreaker situation. I don't even know if they no, explain that. She, she, did, she does. She says if it's a tie, then nobody goes home because majority oh, rules. Yeah, here. that's true. So that was her plan. And and when, honestly, when she said Simone's name, I was like, well, that's smart. Because yeah, it is smart because not- Jay doesn't really like Simone for that comment. So she's like, hey, I'm trying to throw you a bone here. Yeah. I'm giving you I'm helping you out. Yeah. But uh, come to find out, Jay voted for Simone. So that's two votes for Simone, and she's out gone. And I really like Simone. Yeah. She was really chill and like. Bryce was really shaken up. She by was that one. Switzerland. Yeah. And except for Jay, I guess. Jay she took that as a Jay direct did not throat. Like, yeah, she did. It's like you challenged me when I was speaking for you. I don't like that. And this is what I like. Jay was like pretty relaxed, chill, and cool, but like. I didn't like this from her. No, I didn't like that either. And like I said, I liked Jay early on. And then and then she really bothered me with that whole harping on that. And, thing. and Simone is probably the second oldest person at 55 years old. Jay's 70. So you would think those two would be pretty tight. They're two way different people, I think. Apparently. Julie was shocked by this because she was no one was supposed to go home in her mind. She voted to counter the vote. And she realized, oh, crap, she voted for Simone. Not for Jake. So, like, I didn't even need to cast that vote. But whether she casted that vote or not, if she had not done it like the original plan, Simone was going to go home because Mama J voted for Simone and nobody else was voting. So she didn't need to say anything. Yeah. I would not have have said anything, but she tells Tolu. And I'm like, why would you tell somebody that? Uh, And then she tells Jake, too. You keep you carry that one to the yeah, end of the game. I don't know why you need to tell people that. You don't. And that, <laughs> Nothing and that good can come you from that. And, and I get she's probably feeling guilty, want to get something off her chest. And like it helps to people you think you can trust. But that's you know. that's where you'd be wrong if you think you could trust people on this show and that I you just met for any of two them. weeks or however long it's been to this point. And now they're playing the shuffleboard test. Mm. And we yeah, I have a shuffleboard table that's 22 feet long. This one looked like it was like 8 feet, 10 feet. Looked pretty easy to me. Yeah. And you could either push it to earn money for the group or you can get immunity. Yeah. They all. And the immunity thing looked like 
It would have been easy. Yeah, you just go down. You just had to hit the target at the end. You didn't even have a real shuffleboard table. Even has gutters on the side. Yeah, this one didn't even have gutters on the side. So I'm like, you got a pretty. You probably have like a seventy percent chance you're going to hit that thing. Yeah. Uh, But anyways, no one even chooses immunity. So and see, this might be another thing that maybe it's filming because like. Jules didn't go, hey, I'm on the chopping block now. I'm feeling targeted. I better go for immunity here. She, yeah. she did. No one even really considers the immunity. No. So they but earn. I mean, in other places, like in the vault, you have the one other person you're there with, right? And in these side conversations, you're maybe having a private conversation. This is in front of the entire group. You're declaring in front of the entire group. That's what I'm doing. Yeah. So it makes and no peer sense pressure can that. be an issue here because you're like, oh yeah. man, if I choose immunity, even though I think that's a pretty good deal, like it secures you for I don't know how long's between these for episodes. That vote, but, like, but not more for the exposure next on TV, better chance to win money, yada yada yada. But no one, no one chooses, it. and they earn 10k for the group. Yeah, and then they have another vault. And who got to, who got sent to the vault for this one? They, Jake it, and Bryce. They pulled the the cards, right? Yeah. Jake and Bryce go to the vault, and everyone's kind of concerned because they're like, Bryce is a pushover, and Jake's the alpha. He's a leader. (laughs) We didn't like the fact that he was a leader, but we know he's going to lead when he's in there. (laughs) So this one, they get offered ten thousand dollars each. So it keeps going up as we get. And now remember, you only get twenty two thousand if everyone makes to the end with eleven, even though there's not eleven. So it is going up a little bit more. Yeah. So they're probably at like. So at this point, two people have been eliminated. They're probably a little over twenty five thousand some at some point. Or no, I wish they tell us that. It's still not a whole lot, but yeah. but if this thing gets to like twenty thousand, that would be awfully tempting at yeah. that point. Uh, and then the other offer is two K gets added for each person that doesn't vote. Yeah, which at first they're showing and again the, uh, this could be an editing thing they're showing Jake almost trying to convince He's really pushing for the 10 and I'm like how does that play in your favor? Yeah, it doesn't play I don't see how it plays in you his favor. You don't need that to eliminate someone. I get you get money when you eliminate someone but yeah. you could choose the 2k still earn money and, and eliminate, eliminate somebody. <laughs> exactly. Like cuz he was pushing like Mama Jay's being unpredictable cuz at this point in time he has the knowledge that Mama Jay or that um, Julie thought Mama J was going to go. Know, after I wonder him. if the show goes, I need you to explore both options and talk yeah. this out for filming purposes. Because if they're both like, sure. this is a no brainer, this one, then they're like, sure. oh, guys, <laughs> this is a show, remember? Yeah, because the when they day. go up and present it, they both act like it was it was a no brainer, right? They choose the two, 2K for every vote that's not cast. So I it, do, I and do. it makes sense. He wants to get out Mama J. So it's like, OK, so if they all vote, they get what was it? Eighteen thousand dollars. Eighteen thousand. So, OK, they get sixteen thousand dollars and you get Mama J out and then you get Mama J's money split. And he's trying to convince you, someone. So. I'm like, you don't need to convince him. You can exactly. still do it whether he's on board exactly. or not. Exactly. So, yeah, this is easy. where it just doesn't make much sense. And I think I think. Jake's actually smarter than to say some stupid stuff like this. So I, I would feel like so. the show is forcing these conversations he did to a certain extent. As the smartest, and this that's true. This is a smart, smart move. move. <laughs> so. Doing this. So, and what's funny is like anytime someone goes to the vault, the others are like hanging out, and they they always forget someone's in the vault. <laughs> yeah, they're like, "Where's Bryce? Where is he?" It's like he's, he's doing the vault, vault thing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, and then they act like it's no big deal when they come back up. And they're like, "Hey, they're back. Yeah, whatever." <laughs> so they have another trust ceremony, and this time, it's pretty uneventful. No one gets voted out. Eighteen K added, and but right now it's celebration time. Yeah, everyone's kumbaya. So they're they're putting on their finest. Tolu looks. She's wearing like some gold dress and put on some hair. Looks really good. Yeah, I I. Just Anyone else stand out to you? Hair, but I love I loved her dress. Um, the host. I, lo- I love Brooke the host. Baldwin. But Brooke. Brooke comes in and she's like, "All right, pick a buddy to go sit next to at the table." And so this is like you know getting picked in gym class, right? And it's like, okay, you pick a buddy. So they all kind of buddy up and poor. Well, Jasper. Jake's like asked like, "Who you want to be with?" And Julie's like, "Let's see what goes on here." <laughs> And then he chooses Brian, which is the safe choice. Smart, and again, I actually Julie think. Julie gets so butthurt about it. And it's like, what do you expect him to do? Like, people are already irritated. That, that is better for you that he chose exactly. him. Exactly. <laughs> like, she's like, oh, really? That's who you wanted your date? And then and then she she really, I think it's a self-esteem thing for her. 
Because then when Bryce chooses her and she's like, I was going to choose you too. I definitely wasn't going to choose that other guy or like anyone else, you know. You think she's being serious or like facetious or what? I, I mean, we little, obviously know. Yeah, I think she's being a little facetious. Yeah. But I, it's just like, why do you need to say all this? Right. <laughs> like, and I think it's, it's, it's a self-esteem thing with her. So no one chooses Gasper. Yeah, poor so guy. So Brooke chooses him and he gets to sit at the head of the table. Yeah, but I love Gasper. I love how he handles that. And actually, you know what? I want to change. Like when you, at the beginning, when you asked who I like, I'm going to go with Gasper. (laughs) I'm going with that. I love how he's like, I wasn't going to choose any of you. (laughs) He's funny about it. He doesn't get butt hurt about it. He's he's like, yeah, all right, whatever. But he's like, I don't really like sitting at the head of the table because it seems like trouble. And everyone is vibing great. And you know, uh, Bryce is like, yeah, this is a pretty good time. You know what? I'm going to ruin the fun just for whatever. And I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have people target me and I'm going to announce, hey, guys, guess what? I was the millionaire. Yeah. You know, it's funny because like they're all like, oh, we all knew it anyway. Everything's like, I think I want to make myself a target and like I'm the millionaire. But they all knew it. First of all, they all did know it. Like, well, Julie, like spontaneously Julie, combusts. Exactly. Once she hears her this. face, her like, and then you see Jake's interview. He's like, she's looking at Bryce. So she's looking away from Jake. She's looking at him, her like, mouth wide open. But <laughs> Jake can feel the heat coming from her body. And he's like, this, she's going to explode. Like, this isn't going on. Even though well. some people are acting cool, you're just giving them a reason to get rid of you, though. Yeah. Well, it's true. I mean, and they're then all saying Dasper's it's cool, like, ah, oh, big whoop. Like, so you're a millionaire. Who cares? Changes nothing. Yeah. And I, I for Jasper, I, I think that he really feels that way. But for the other people, they don't. And I do like that eventually um, Julie and Bryce have the conversation about it. They do talk about it. Um, but I she's like, you should take yourself out. Yeah. She, she's like, I, but she says you should do that. I don't want you to do that, but you should do that. Because he's like, I'm here for the experience. And what does yeah. he say? He says something like he's here for the experience. She's like, well, you can have that. Yeah. But you should the last day, like, yeah, eliminate yourself. yourself. Yeah, exactly. I, which, I mean, I, I, I don't. She like contradicts talk. herself because she's like, I, I, I don't think you should do that or I wouldn't right. do that. I'm like, of course, you just said that. And I don't like the talk how it's been this whole game of who deserves to be there more than anybody. Who deserve? It's a game show. Like, yep. no one deserves to be on a game show. No one deserves the money that to be handed to you because you won a game. Like, it's a game. Are you playing the game? Are you being socially, like, good of the group. Like those are the people who deserve the money, regardless if you have money at home or not, or what your sob story is or your background. I just, so I don't like using the word deserve. I get where they're coming from. Like he has money. He came from money. He's, he's even said that he's lived a life of privilege. And here you've got Julie, who's really had the hard road her entire life. But does that mean, why don't they all just leave and let Julie have the money then? Like you that's know, not the game. I don't really care whether he has money or whatever, you know, that wouldn't bother me one no. bit, but I will say he doesn't handle it the best. He doesn't. Because even when he's explaining, he just comes off like a little pompous. He does come off very pompous. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, and like complaining about your Armani, this like, come on, man. Like, you don't have to like out, say all that kind of stuff. <laughs> and they're all like, ugh. But anyways, Gasper gets to pick two people to go on an excursion. Yeah. And he chooses Brian and Julie. Yeah. And I liked his, I liked his choices and I liked why he his his explanation as to why he chose them. Yeah, and this is weird because their excursion, they go zip lining into the lagoon. They drop off the zip line and go there and they're yeah. going spelunking. And I'm like, this ain't I mean, it's kind of cool, but it's not like something crazy. And then the and because the, the people back at the the house are getting massages, mani pedis. So I'm like, that might even be better yeah, to some people. Exactly. But they are presented with a secret vault offer. And this is a one on one offer. So Brooke, no one has to know. Brooke comes to him and says, You're each going to come to me in a makeshift vault separately. And you don't have to know what each other did. And Brian's the first to approach her. Yep. And she's like, Look, this is. Is going to like impact the game. Is going to benefit you, but hurt the group. And you can you can choose to pass on this, or you can accept it. But once you open this, it is what it is. What do you want to do? He can't look at it and make the choice. Yeah, he has to know that that's going to benefit him, 
and not the group and, and make the decision to benefit. It could be a thousand dollars. It could be, you know, and he talks about does, need. I think she does say it's substantial. He talks about needing money to adopt a kid and this, that, and the other. But like, she's like, well, what do you want to do here? And he's like, my integrity is not for sale. Yeah, he's, he's strong on it. He's like, you can't buy my integrity with this. Is that integrity? I don't think so. I mean, I guess. Because he can admit it. So like, no one says. Yeah. If it's 20K, you can take the money and I tell people and tell your sob story. is the fact that he's made a stand and said he would never take an offer that benefits himself over the group. So if he's actually said that and declared that, then he would be breaking his integrity. And Brian, he he gets pretty emotional. Like he he's kind of like adamant about doing things for the group, and he gets yeah. offended when people choose selfish choices or eliminate people, yeah. and he takes that to heart, and he gets irritated. And that's probably what he meant by his integrity. Like yeah, that, that's the the code that he lives by. So he's not going to break that. He's now. a man of honor. There you go. Perhaps. But Julie, different story. Different. <laughs> You know, she gets offered that and she's like, oh, yeah, I want to take this. Well, you know, she's never been offered things before in her life. And when they fall into her lap, she's got to take them. Yeah. And now and then it kind of ends on a cliffhanger. We don't yeah. know what the offer is. Now, do you blame her for taking it? No, I, I think that's the smart choice. Here. I do. I agree. Like, I don't blame her. I mean, I, I, I knew she was going to take it. Like, I just knew she was. But in this scenario, I, I don't like how she says it's because I've never had anything kind of thing, but yeah, you got to take it. Fortune favors the bold. You know, she, she's been given like these lectures by the girls about how they don't necessarily trust her. And she knows that Jake is not well liked by a lot of the house and that he's kind of on the bubble. She's a show associated with him. And now the girls like don't necessarily trust. She knows for sure that Tolu and Winnie are going to have each other's back over her. Now here's the She's thing. The though. Here's the thing. <clears throat> she Brooks like you don't have to tell anybody. It could be your yeah. secret. But here's the thing. If if it impacts the group negatively and Brian doesn't take it and he goes back home and like we were presented with an offer and I didn't take it so that, that must mean one thing. She took it. Yeah. So yeah, how no, do you keep that a secret? It's be you can't guarantee how that plays out. it's a secret. I hope I hope that it is anonymous because that's what the way it was presented. Yeah, well, I mean, and you're presented this on the spot. So maybe you're not thinking this kind of stuff yeah. through like, oh, crap, you said it was going to be anonymous. But Brian here revealed it. So how in the heck is that a secret at this point? Well, she literally says that the group doesn't know. Brian doesn't have to know. Like, because she could deny it still. And she could be like, that's yeah. not true. Maybe that was what you're offered. But that wasn't what I was offered. And maybe you took it. How do we know you didn't take it? Maybe well, she could say that. Either. Yeah, I don't I don't know. I really hope it's anonymous. I, just I don't know, but that's where it ends. What do you think of the show so far? I like it. I like it. Um, I get I'm getting a little bothered by some of the hypocrisies. I tell you what, that second episode was rough. Yeah, I, I, I was a little bothered by the, some of the hypocrisies. But when they actually calm down and have rational conversations with each other, they all seem rational, at least in those moments. All right, guys, that's our take on the first four episodes of The Trust. Let us know what you think. Hopefully next week we'll have Billy back and we can talk about the next. See you guys. See you.